Okay, let's make our presentation for Super Scuba. So we need to open PowerPoint, click Cancel here because we're going to design our own theme, and set up a presentation with three slides. So one, two, three slides. Now to design the layout, themes, edit master, slide master, and the master slide wants a pale blue background on the right hand side. So insert shape. We can select a, a square or a rectangle, draw our rectangle down the right hand quarter. To format this, right click, format shape. The fill needs to be light blue. And we can get rid of the border here, so click line, no line. Okay. Now uh, we're also going to want three more lines, one as a border to the rectangle and two across horizontally. So let's first I'm just going to draw the line here and set it up. To draw the line, right click, format shape. Our lines want to be dark blue in colour, and the weight needs to be four points of type four PT. Okay. We want three of these, so Command C, copy, Command V, paste, paste again. And now I can move these to the place, places I need them. So one goes down the left hand side of the rectangle, one more across the top just below the title, and the final one across the bottom just above the footer. I can close this box. Now we want an automated slide number. Insert. Sorry. First we need a box to put it in. So let's get rid of these boxes at the bottom because they never work. Click home. It says text box. And in the text box, insert slide number. Next, we want an image of a fish in the right hand area. Insert clip art, clip art gallery. Let's see if there's a picture of a fish here. No, so we need to go online to find one. So click online, open our web browser, and take us to the Microsoft image site. We can search for fish. And not many fish here. Let's go to the next page. Okay, this will do. So click on it. Now this is a big enough picture for us. Right click, copy image, and command tab back to PowerPoint. Command V to paste. Now we'll have to crop this so that it can fit into the area. Click on the picture, the format picture. Crop. So we need to get rid of the white white border, and we can also crop it so that we just have the fish on the left hand side. Maybe crop a little from the bottom. Now click on crop again to stop cropping. Now we can move it into our space, resize a little. Okay. Next, that's our name, center number, and candidate number on the bottom of the slide. So again, click home, insert text box, draw a text box across the bottom. Now the text here needs to be center aligned, and it should be black, 12 points bold sans-serif font. Sans-serif isn't the name of a font, it's any font that doesn't have the little curls on the end. So there's lots of sans-serif fonts, but Arial is one very common sans-serif font. Let's use this. Name. And candidate number. Next, at the top of the slide, we want 
a header, the text super scuba. But before we can do that, we'll need to move these other boxes out of the way or resize them because we'll still need to use these later. But we want to use them without overlapping our lines or our fish. So move them down, resize them. That's the titles. That's the content slide, okay. Title slide also needs resizing. Moving a little. do. So another text box across the top. This text needs to be dark blue, 48 point, sans serif. We do have a sans serif font actually. And the text is super scuba. Okay, finally, we need to set up our styles. Heading. Heading means on the title slide, so this this kind of slide, it means the the main text here. Just like this. Dark blue, left aligned, large font, 60 points. Subheading actually means two things here. It means the subtitle style here. So that needs to be blue, center aligned, medium font, 30 points. There's no 30 points in this drop down list but I can still click in this box and type 30, enter. Subheading also means, if we go back to the content slide, subheading means this title to the content slide. So this also needs to be blue center aligned, it is medium font 30 point, 30, enter. And finally the bulleted list, or at least the first level. We don't need to worry about the other levels. The first level needs to be black, left aligned, small font 20 point. And a bullet of our choice, we could just leave it there like this or we can choose by right clicking, bullets and numbering, choose a different, let's choose this one. Okay. Now, because we've resized all of these boxes, that should ensure that nothing overlaps the picture or the lines. So we can close master and start adding our content. On the first slide, we want the heading, sorry, the first slide, the heading, new website, subheading, and presenter notes go down here. Let's go back and check your spelling. This is okay because uh, the IGCSE exams tend to use British spelling and I have an American spelling check. Second slide. Subheading. Bulleted list. Spelling. Now this needs to be animated so that they appear one at a time. So keeping this selected, click on animations, let's select an animation, let's have them fly in. There we go. And nothing else is animated, the title's not animated. Presenter notes. Let's check your spelling, that's fine. And the third slide, we want a pie chart. Now, 
the easiest way is just to click, click the chart button here, insert chart. Now we can choose pie charts, the simplest kind. It takes us to Excel where we can type in our data. Starting with the column headings, then Double check it's all entered correctly, then we can actually close Excel, and we see here's our here's our pie chart. Now it's not quite how we want it. We don't want this legend here. What we want is each segment to be labelled individually. So looking at the quick chart layouts at the top, the first one here, click. That's what we need. Now we can we don't need a title on this slide, so we can delete this box and resize our chart. Make sure it's centered. Uh, presenter notes. Spelling, that's fine. Finally, for the whole presentation we want to use the same transitional effects between each slide. So we click on transitions, let's have this one fade in and then click on apply to all slides. Now we can see the icons here indicate that every slide has a transition. Save the presentation. File, save as. Make it somewhere sensible. Let's call it super scuba. Save. Print the presentation showing all the presenter notes. File, print. That's a print. Print it showing the notes. We need to do <clears throat> print what? We don't want to print the slides, we want to print notes. You can see in the preview here, that will <coughs> it will appear with on each page a single slide with the presenter notes underneath it. And we just press print. Okay, we want a screenshot of slide two showing the animation. Used for the bulleted list. Let's click on the animated box, click on animations. Now these numbers are evidence for the animation. For a screenshot, we can compress we can press Shift Command 4. And then this cursor appears. We can just select the whole slide, draw a box around the whole slide. And now if we look on the desktop. Somewhere you'll see a new file has appeared, it says screenshot. So if you open that as a screenshot, now we can simply print this file, print, send it to the printer. Back to PowerPoint, there's one more piece of evidence we need. That's a screenshot of the presentation showing the transitions. So the evidence for the transition is these icons here. So again, Shift Command 4 and select this part of the screen and again there's a new file on the desktop here it is we can print as our evidence and that's it goodbye